Good morning, my dear students. I welcome all of you to today's science class. Children, we have already completed the chapter, The Living Organisms, Characteristics and Habitats. So today we are going to begin a new chapter. The name of the chapter is Motion and Measurement of Distance. We are going to take up the topic, Distance and Story of Transport in today's class. But let us look at what are we going to learn in this chapter. In this chapter, we will be learning about story of transport like how different means of transport were invented. We'll also discuss about distance. We'll be discussing about the standard units of measurement. We'll also be discussing how correct measurement of length can be taken and how to measure the length of curved line. We'll also be discussing about motion and types of motion. So today's learning outcome is that after today's class, you'll be able to understand what is distance and you'll also be able to understand about the history of transport. The keywords which we'll be using are transport, travel, means of transport, invention, distance. Children, this is an activity. Now what you need to do is you have to identify the picture. Yes, this is a picture of a room. Now if I ask you how big is the room, you will say it is big, small, very big or very small. Now, if I ask you what is the length, breadth and height of this room, you won't be able to say without measuring. To find the length, breadth and height of the room, you need to measure. Now think, you go to a tailor to stitch a dress for yourself. The tailor won't be able to stitch the dress without taking the measurement. Measurement is needed in order to stitch the dress. Let us take another example. If you want to know the height of someone or if you want to know your height, you need to measure your height. Without measuring, you won't be able to say what is your height. Let us take some more examples. Suppose you go for jogging every day and if I ask you what is the distance you have covered, you won't be able to say because you had not measured it. Similarly, if I ask that how far have you cycled even then you won't be able to say similarly if a car is moving and i ask you what is the distance covered by the car you won't be able to say without measuring it so you need to measure in order to find out what is the distance covered by the car or what is the distance covered when you jog from your home to the park yes so you need to measure in the examples which we have taken what are we actually trying to measure we are trying to measure distance what is distance distance is the total length covered by an object from the point it started that is the initial point to the point it stopped that is the final point now let us assume that you started from your home and you are going to school. So what is the distance covered by you? So the distance covered by you is the total length or the pathway from home to school. After the school gets over, you go to the market with your parent. So now what is the total distance covered? It is the distance covered by you from home to school and school to market. Then again, you will be coming back to home. So that distance will also be included. So the total length covered by you from the initial point that is from your home to school and then to market and from market to home. So all the pathway which you have covered is called distance. Now let's assume that you are traveling from Guwahati to Delhi. What is the distance between Guwahati and Delhi? It is quite large. So you need some means of transport. So you will either go in a flight or you will be traveling by train. So these are the means of transport which will help you to cover that long distance. In this way, small wheeled vehicles have also moved on the soil of Mars and conducted experiment. These vehicles were taken by spacecraft all the way to Mars. In ancient time or earlier days, people used to move only on foot and carry goods either on their back or using animals. 
Later they found that log floats on water and then they use those logs to make boat and then they use those boat for transport. Invention of the wheel made a great change in modes of transport. The design of the wheel was improved over thousands of years. Animals were used to pull vehicles that moved on wheels. Then the invention of steam engine introduced a new source of power. Railroads were made for steam engine driven carriages and wagons. Motorized boats and ships were used as means of transport on water. The early years of 1900 saw the development of aeroplanes. These were later improved to carry passengers and goods. Electric train, monorail, supersonic aeroplanes and spacecraft and space ships are some of the 20th century contribution. So in this way modes of transport came into existence and now we find various modes of transport which helps us to move from one place to another which helps us to cover long distance. So children this is what we have for today's class. Now let us discuss two questions. Rishab and Riyan started for school from their home. Rishab walked 5 meter and Riyan walked 8 meter but both of them reached school at the same time. How did both reach school at the same time? So both of them started from home and then the distance covered by Rishabh was 5 meter and the distance covered by Riyan was 8 meter. But both of them reached school at the same time. The distance covered was different by both. But the time when they reached school was same. So how is it possible? So you need to justify this how is it possible even though both of them have covered different distance second question Sheila traveled to Delhi by flight and Rahul traveled by train identify the mode of transport both used to travel who will reach the destination faster so Sheila and Rahul both traveled to Delhi one traveled by flight and another traveled by train so you need to Tell who will reach the destination faster. So I hope that all of you will be able to answer these two questions. Today's homework will be exercise question number 1. Now let us summarize what we have learned in today's class. Total length covered by an object from the point it started that is initial point to the point it stopped that is final point is called distance. People used to move only on foot and carry goods either on their back or using animals in earlier days or ancient time. Invention of wheel made a great change in mode of transport. Motorized boats and ships were used as means of transport on water. Electric trains, monorail, supersonic aeroplanes and spacecraft are some of the 20th century contribution. So this is what we have for today's class. We had discussed about what is distance and about the story of transport, how different mode of transport were invented and helped people to move from one place to another. The distance was made shorter by use of these modes of transport. So this is all for today's class. Thank you and have a great day ahead.